Hi, this is Shelley Kraft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the FSX conference, and we're in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm here with Elvis Oxley of Oxley Consulting LLC, a private company out of the Washington, D.C. Beltway area. Welcome, Elvis. Elvis Hello. is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. All right. How Pleased to you? have you. Thank you very much for having me. Good to have you. Okay, Elvis, I know you a little bit. You've written for the magazine. So when we talk about Elvis Oxley, we want to know about Oxley Consulting. So tell me what's going on at Oxley Consulting. Well, thanks again, Shelley. Uh, it's great to be here in Atlanta at this particular conference, FSX. Uh, Oxley Consulting is a relatively unique firm. We source capital for Inc. 500 firms, emerging growth companies, and then we teach them the art of government contracting. It's a very uh, unique thing in that we not only are able to find capital, but we're also a able to source revenues for companies. A number of companies have a great idea. They've got uh, uh, commercial success, but translating that success into the federal market is very difficult because there's a whole new set of rules. Uh, there's a whole new way of adapting your product, your marketing literature, and all the way down the line to something that's acceptable for the government. And the government buys a lot of things. Now, you are from Washington, right? Where, where's your original hometown? Uh, originally the great state of Ohio, Findlay, Ohio. Some may know it as Ben Roethlisberger's hometown, but... Uh, you also got some really good chocolate pretzels from that area, right? Chocolate-covered yes, pretzels, right? That's uh, <laughs> Dietz's, which That's is also a terrific small business. Uh, also home of Marathon Oil and Cooper Tire. Okay, so what brought you to Washington, D.C.? Uh, when I was eight, my father was elected to Congress, so uh, I, I really had no choice in the matter. Uh, he spent 26 years in Congress, and uh, through that period of time, I absorbed a lot from, uh, from those folks in Washington. Um, it's been a great experience, and, uh, and now, rather than go into law or politics myself, I've, I've always been a business guy. I'm, I'm a marketer, I'm a sales guy, and recognizing that there's a number of, of uh, companies back in the district that, that uh, needed help, that, uh, that could grow their business, grow their revenues, I thought it was a great mix. The other thing that, that is unique about uh, Washington that happens nowhere else K Street, as it's, as it's formally or informally called, uh, is really a, a, a big mini-mart. Uh, people don't recognize that. I can literally walk down one street in Washington and find uh, the decision makers, everywhere from uh, Northrop Grumman and, and General Dynamics to Procter & Gamble, Kmart, Walmart, what have you. If you want to do business, Washington is the place to do business. Especially if you're a lobbyist. Uh, I am a uh, former lobbyist. I feel much better about myself I, now. Yeah, okay. I, I'm reformed. Everything's okay. This I was wondering if you had gotten over it. <laughs> it was easy to get over, uh, particularly with the new administration, and that's, that's another aspect. Uh, the new administration was, uh, was not really pro-lobbyist when they, when they came out and, and created all sorts of restrictions uh, for, uh, for meetings uh, that I would have had with administration officials and various different agencies, the buyers of our products products and services of the companies that we represent. So those restrictions... So there's a new way of doing business in Washington. Uh, there is, and, uh, and one way to, uh, to do that is smartly delist from the uh, Senate lobbying database. And, uh, and I don't do any sort of legislative maneuvers. I'm, I'm not a manipulator of the law or legislation. My job is to say, these companies are in your district. They could be earning more tax revenues. They could be earning more revenues, period. Your voters could be happier. Now, this is a great product. And oh, by the way, the Pentagon bought $10 million of this stuff uh, uh, last year anyway. So some, they've got to buy it from somewhere. Do you want it from your hometown? Or do you want it from somebody else elsewhere? Well, ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has just let the sunlight in on the magic. Ladies and gentlemen, let me th oh, what website you want to give? Uh, Oxley-Consulting.com, O-X-L-E-Y-Consulting.com. Elvis is now about to leave the building, so let me say thanks for coming on to Essendon Live. It's a pleasure to have you. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much, Shelley. Thank you.